Hi guys, it's me, Miss Manifester, helping you open a spiritual doorway to the abundance that you deserve. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. And this video is kind of like a vloggy mashup of my videos from the Abraham Hicks Amsterdam conference weekend. It was an absolutely amazing weekend. Obviously, you can't film the event itself, so I'm really sorry. There is only a little bit of footage of Esther Hicks walking on stage, and then respectfully, I turned off because that's the rules. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys what the venue was like, so you could kind of see a little bit like what the setup was like for that, just in case you ever want to go to one of her events. So guys, uh, do not forget to click subscribe and to hit the bell to get regular updates from me every time I upload a Law of Attraction video. This is a channel for advice for you and also to kind of follow my journey and see um, how it is that I manifest things in my life and for my clients. So I hope you enjoy this, guys. Here we go. Last night was amazing, so I met um, the lovely Fiona at Bristol Airport and I kind of was like, I feel like this girl's going from what I could hear her talking about and then she was like, yeah, I'm going to um, Abraham Hicks and then she said like, where are you staying? And turns out we're in the same hotel, which I didn't even book, Denise booked it and it's the second hotel because the first hotel she booked apparently was shit. Um, and so yeah, so she was kind of like going, I don't know how I'm going to get there, but I'm not worried about it. And then it was like, just come ride with us. And then we just went out with some lovely food and drinks and now we're up bright and early. And I've just bought all my breakfast and lunch for the day. So yeah, I'll keep you posted. Do you want to say hello, Denise? Good morning. <laughs> So I just Hi guys, it's bloody noisy. Hey, it's Fiona. Hi. We found her, Princess Fiona. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Queen. Rachel, yeah, yeah, Denise. Yeah. Sunshine in my pocket. <laughs> Boudé. <laughs> it's the love train. It's a love train. It's the love train. Things that happen when standing <laughs> Happy, sweetest of all, the new currency is the happy. Good, good. Good, good, Thank good. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome, you. you're welcome, my dear. You're welcome, my dear. All over the world. What does your happy say, Denise? My happiness says, time is the treasure that clock, clocks oh, try to... Different. I didn't time is the measure that clocks try to measure. Mine says, your body is a guest house. You check in and check out. Mine says, our souls don't die, our earth is our school is this earth we can be kinder and wiser with every new birth <laughs> kinder and wiser yeah your body's a guest house to check in and check out even, that's what i've got in the back of mine yeah oh my god what a venue wow so here is the video from day two at the Abraham Hicks conference in Amsterdam. I'm trying not to catch my friend Rachel doing her stretches because right now um, it's half past six in the UK time and now it's six five. Is this building not amazing? It's the gas holder um, in Amsterdam. So beautiful. So I thought I'd just take you on a little, a little quick tour. Off we go. So up here we have the stage. So what happens is, is um, Esther when she's channeling Abraham stands. She sort of stands here, and then there's a chair, and the person sits in the chair. Sits in this chair with their back to the audience, and then you can see them talking to Abraham on um, the screen. And when she picks, um, it's really full on; like everybody is putting their hand up. And 
and she kind of is like, you, no, sit down, everyone sit down, you, you know who you are, like, get up. Um, yesterday, it was all men that were picked and all the women were kind of like, but what about us? And, uh, but, you know, it's more about the, um, it's not about your sex or gender or whatever, it's just about your energy. We're all a collective and those people had the right questions, so that's that. And that's it, really, this is, this is it. Um, 1,800 people, capacity in here, it was full, and there's um, 52 countries represented here today, which is amazing because, um, you know, they're all speaking English, you know, I'm English, I can barely speak English, so there it is. So that was it guys, that was the footage I got from the event itself. I hope you really enjoyed that. And I just thought I would round off with my six kind of biggest reflections, big six reflection statements that I kind of really took away from the day. So, care about your emotions because they are the biggest indicator of your vibration. I say that all the time. Um, you know, your feelings are your compass and they're your guide about whether you're um, attracting good things to your life or whether you're attracting negative things to your life. Number two, do not be under the influence of what is in your face. We live in a very physical reality where we kind of only believe what we see. Do, do not forget that everything exists for you in your vibrational reality and there is nothing that is off limits. You know, she very much said, um, don't feel like you're being greedy or that you can't ask for this is a bit much or whatever like there is nothing off limits to you so she was very encouraging of just going for gold and not thinking of yourself as greedy whatever you ask for it is given she said are you on a negative trend you know are you one of those people who's banging the same drum it's one thing to recognize um negativity but then do something about it it's another to just keep perpetuating the same beat the same drum the same rhythm of this is bad this is bad i have this problem i have this problem i have this problem it's about um, not about your past it's all about how you choose to move forward with your life she said several times get out ahead with your vibration so what she means by this is don't just wait for some negative stuff to show up you know and then go oh i'm gonna do some vibration work now you know i need to raise myself up you know no like get yourself up to 90 percent, and then if something comes along you can um, deal with it so much easier rather than kind of being down at 40% and then it's so much harder to get yourself back up so she is definitely encouraging you to do the vibration work something else that I had forgotten to mention that I wasn't going to mention and I, I'm going to now is she reiterated how important meditation is as a spiritual practice and I really feel like I need to do that more for myself you know she says 10 minutes is enough 10 minutes is fine um, it's enough to quiet your mind so that the thoughts you receive are thoughts from your you know higher self from your inner being because those are going to be your guided impulses to take your inspired action you know follow it because if it's going to bring you joy that's exactly what you should be doing she encourages us to find the awesome power of non-resistant thought because non-resistant thought has the least resistance for you thoughts that give you pleasure topics that feel light so something where you're just like I love talking about this, it makes me feel amazing. There is nothing bad to say about it. You know, is it your family? Is it your partner? Is it your job? Is it something you love that you can talk about and bang that drum? And when you focus on what's good in your life, it will ripple out to all the other areas of your life. So she really encourages you to find your joy, find your pleasure in non-resistant thoughts. 
And lastly, when something comes along that is a challenge for you, actually it's something your inner being has been asking for um, that leads you to the delicious process of evolution. Like we love growing, we love up-leveling and actually your inner being was crying out for it because it's like, I need this to go to my next level. So that's it guys, I really did just wrap up those last five minutes for you. Um, it's all still very fresh in my mind and I feel like there's so much that I could say. You know, effectively you've got, you know, six hours of Abraham material, so to condense that into like five minutes is insane, but those were some of my biggest um, takeaway points that will really, really stay in my mind. So thanks guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you to um, Esther and Abraham and Jerry for all the work that you've done. Your teachings have massively impacted my life. I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. No way, because you were what brought me into this in the first place. So um, thank you to everyone who's been watching. Make sure you click subscribe and hit the bell and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.